I'm going to teach you how to laminate. This is Lee from Crash Test Hobby showing you how to put laminate on your plane in a way that it will look good and be very durable. All of our kits come with UV shielded laminate. The laminate has a working temperature from 170 to 240 degrees. When you start laminating, laminating, lay your laminate out and start with one long stripe right down the middle of the wing. Then work from that stripe outwards towards the edges and the corners in order to get a surface without wrinkles. If you need to start with low temperature because if you start with a higher temperature the laminate will start to shrink before it even touches the foam and leave wrinkles. After you've got the basic surface done make some relief cuts so you can wrap your edges and as you tra trim the excess laminate off leave at least two inches to wrap the edges which will add strength to your plane. Notice also I have a wet rag next to the plane I don't think I use it in the videos, but if my iron's getting too hot, I can cool the iron just by reaching over and rubbing it on that wet rag. I also have a spray bottle there, you can see, to dampen the rag and also to cool the iron. Seams don't show with this clear laminate, and this laminate will stick without a spray adhesive. The temperature I want on the iron is a temperature just warm enough that it will stick a scrap of laminate to the box the plane came in but not so hot that it will boil water on the iron itself. We want the temperature around 180 degrees. What we discovered with these irons is that if they sit on the bench between use the temperature will go up as much as 30 or 40 degrees and the iron the wrinkles start to form when you come back and pick it up. This is especially critical on your elevons. Now, as you noticed on the tip of the wing, I made relief cuts and wrapped the end. The other day I found an iron on sale and decided to try it. It's been a long time since I've used a large iron. Once you use an iron for laminating, you don't want to ever use it on clothes but I was amazed at how fast I could cover a wing. It's been a long time since I used one this big, but two things that I liked about it. First of all is how fast the surface area could be covered. Second of all, this iron only had about a 20 degree variation while the hobby iron had a 30 to 40 degree variation, which made my, it easier to maintain the proper temperature for laminating. I didn't have to cool this iron at all and also it heats up within a few seconds while the other iron takes a few minutes to get to full temperature. As you can see, that's a good comparison of the small iron to the big iron. Uh, big iron actually has me sold for this kind of job. I wrinkled up the laminate so you can see what's going to happen with the large iron. Iron is at 180 degrees. I just took all the wrinkles out on that top of the wing, or this is actually the bottom, but uh, took all the wrinkles out and with just a few passes, all the wrinkles are gone and I've attached the laminate to the laminate below it. If you find bubbles forming between layers of laminate, take and make multiple small pin holes and iron over it again and the air will force its way back out through the pin holes. Once again, make relief cuts as needed in order to fold the corners up. We need to mount the motor now to make sure that uh, we cut the elephants to the right length. I put a couple of temporary screws in and put the prop on and then I cut the angle I want on the elephant by taking it off the wingtip and then make sure you make a right and a left elephant do that by putting the tops of the elephants together and then making sure the angles match. Now I measure in from the tip and make sure I leave myself a half inch clearance for the prop on each side. I don't want the elephant to go quite past the tip of the wing on the outside edge because then it will rub on the, on the fin. So give yourself an extra little bit of slack. Once the elephant is trimmed and cut to size, this particular elevon fits perfectly on the 18 inch wide uh, laminate and get a very clean iron stripe down the elevon the first time without warping it. 
Then you can roll it up for the two rolls of laminate on the elevon. On a heavier plane, you'd want to put three layers of laminate on and you could do it the same way. But the big trick is keeping your iron cool. The elevon is so thin that extra heat tends to melt the elevon worse than it does when you're working on the wing. And it also makes it so that the um, elevon starts to get, have wrinkles at the bow. Once again, make your relief cuts on the corners and then iron around the edges. I was worried with the larger iron that'd be hard to do and I didn't have any more trouble with the bigger iron than I had with the small one. Let's do it again. Lay your laminate out, get it so you've got a good edge there and it's laying straight. Take a stripe right across the middle and then wind your two winds of laminate. So you've got two layers on every side. Then with a stripe, put the iron the laminate down to the to the elevon and then just work it. The seams don't show so you don't have to worry exactly where those seams end or even if you make a perfectly straight cut they just vanish because of the clear laminate. Then using the cool iron again I'm still I uh, trim the ends and then cut my relief cuts and then finish the edges on the elevons. And uh, it's very quick to do. You're actually working with four layers of laminate at once when you're working on the ends, but they, because of the heat, they do what they're supposed to if you can get the iron at the right angle. Hinging adds a lot of strength to your elevons. You need to get the hinging process correct. I'm actually building two planes. You're only seeing one built, but uh, take the tape and split one inch wide strips of the extreme tape and put it so it's halfway onto the elephant with the sharp pointed edge of the elephant at the top and the thin edge goes to the back and then leave a sixteenth inch gap and put the elephant in place and that's as easy as it is now we're going to flip the elevon up over and do the bottom side of the hinge line. We're going to take another one inch wide piece of the extreme tape and run it down in that 16th inch gap that you put on the top now allows the two faces of the tape to barely make contact. Let's do the other side. Here's that one inch wide piece of tape. If we can get it to lay down straight. And put it in place and trim the ends. Now you'll notice when it's like this the elevons want to flex up, they don't want to lay down. But we're now going to iron some strips of laminate over the top and you'll see those hinge lines relax. The laminate protects the extreme tape from the UV rays of the sun. Without this laminate covering on the hinge line, this hinge will only last a few months and it will uh, basically fall apart. With the uh, laminate over the top, it lasts for years. Once again, iron it down along the hinge line and just fold it over the edge. It's interesting that I'm already sold on the big iron and that's the iron I chose to even do this job. Now we're going to go to the top. Notice how that elevon wants to come up. Watch what happens here. As I iron that down, and I trim off the laminate. I will now flex it and iron that hinge line and the elevon will now lay flat. Let's do the other side. I center the two inch wide piece of laminate over the one inch wide piece of tape and iron it down. Seal down my edges and you'll notice again that this wants to flex up when we let it relax, doesn't want to lay down, but I'm going to take that piece of laminate, put it on the top, and as I iron it down, it stretches that tape and lets it relax. 
Then I flex the yellow bond down, and as I hit, iron that hinge line, it makes it so that the hinge line is very relaxed. This is the toughest uh, hinge I have ever seen. Rarely do we have hinge problems. The, after you have completed the entire laminating and hinging, turn your iron up to about 220 degrees and make a pass over the entire plane in order to do a final stretch and seal everything down. Thank you for watching. This is Lay with Crash Just Hobby.